Infinity One is eMetroTel's communication, messaging, collaboration, and video conferencing application. Infinity One is highly effective, feature-rich, and includes an integrated soft phone, private and secure direct text messaging in direct, in-way, and or public chat channels, presence for both phones and chat with custom presence status statement, screen sharing, file sharing, one-to-one -one and multi-party video conferencing, real-time wallboard and call center reports, exceptional security for users and for protection of company private data with 100% encryption for signaling and media packets for voice, video, and chat, encrypted database backup files stored on company-owned and managed memory storage, mobility support for iOS, Android, and browser-based client access, wide range of end-user device choices, including iPhone, iPod, Mac, Mac Air, Android, plus Linux, Windows laptops, PCs, and real-time web browsers. A rich set of user controls to allow users to manage and personalize their account, control their client settings, upload their avatar, and more. Infinity One administrators can add and invite users, assign permissions, manage the features, launch the wizard, perform database backup and restores, control file system usage, and more. Administrators and users benefit from a rich suite of notifications for pop-ups, emails, audio alerts for chat and phone, real-time notifications, and push tokens to provide notifications to mobile devices. Infinity One supports a rich suite of integrations, including embedded wikis, GitLab, Jira from Atlassian, Salesforce.com, and custom integrations through the set of RESTful and real-time APIs. Infinity One resides on a customer's UCX appliance, virtualized, or UCX cloud solution, with the one exception being Galaxy Mini, which does not support this application. Adding Infinity One to your UCX system is easy. It starts with getting the package loaded onto your UCX. But before attempting to load the package, let's make sure that the UCX software is up to date. Navigate to forward slash system updates and click on the button check for updates. The system will respond with a message that your system is up to date or by providing a list of packages to update. In the latter case, click on the button update and allow the update to fully complete before proceeding. Now we are ready to load the Infinity One software package. On a Release 7 system, navigate to the Add-on Packages page, forward slash Accessories, Add-on Packages, and scroll down to the Infinity One section. At the rightmost column, click on the blue action button, Install. The system will respond with a pop-up box and a slide scale, highlighting the progression of the installation. Once completed, the system will respond with a message confirming the package has successfully installed. Now that we have the Infinity One application loaded on our UCX system, there are two provisioning steps we need to perform to ensure that Infinity One is fully integrated with the host UCX. We need to generate a DTLS certificate and then set ICE support enabled to true. Navigate to the security forward slash certificates DTLS certificate page and click on the generate action box. The system will respond with the message, a DTLS certificate is installed along with valid until and serial number details. Next, navigate to the forward slash PBX PBX configuration advanced settings page and scroll to the bottom portion of the page. Under the heading Media Setup Settings, you will see the ICE-supported enabled True or False selector boxes. Select the True setting and click on the green checkmark that appears at the right side of the input field. Before logging out of the UCX, make sure you have a few other parameters set for optimal accessibility and performance. The three areas to check are XDEM Extension and XDEM Settings, SIP Settings, network settings, specifically firewall port forward rules and installation of an SSL certificate. Now, starting with the network requirements, please ensure that the customer firewall is port forwarding the Infinity One port 21326 as UDP and the RTP media ports 10000 to 13999 as UDP. 
Use of an SSL certificate is a requirement for mobile smartphones, iOS and Android devices to be used as Infinity One clients. An SSL certificate can be quickly and easily added to any UCX system by going to the eMetroTel quotations and ordering site and in the extensions and applications section, select yes to add the certificate, then complete the order. Please confer with your eMetroTel Business Prime for ordering options. In the PBX forward slash PBX configuration SIP settings page, check to make sure you have NAT equals yes, that the IP configuration is set to static IP, and click on the auto configure button. Make note of the external IP address value, then submit and apply the values. In the XDEM extensions pages, just make sure you have an extension for each of your Infinity One users. You can either create or assign an extension. The type would be Infinity One, or you can enable hot desking if your users are going to leverage their existing extension for their soft phone. If you are creating an extension, you will need to program all the extension programming just like you would for an Infinity 5000 or a digital phone user. If the users will be using their existing extension, then enable the hot desking feature and provide a hot desk password for each extension that will be using Infinity One. Check the following setting in the XDEM settings page, forward slash PBX, PBX configuration, XDEM settings. Verify that the public IP address is set to the external IP address of the UCX obtained from the SIP settings changes above and the port value is correct, typically 7000. And that the first key position is set to WriteBot, the default setting. And that hot desking is set to Enabled. Once the Infinity One application is installed, applied, and these other settings on the UCX, it's time to launch the Infinity One installation wizard. From a Google Chrome web browser, enter the Infinity One URL with the correct port number. The wizard will step through a series of four input screens, site address, account, default channel, email settings, so that it can acquire the information needed to create the Infinity One administrator's account, the bot account, and set up the application management framework. Note that the input screens are slightly different between UCX Release 6 Infinity One 3.x and UCX Release 7 Infinity One 4.x systems. The site address captures the host name associated with the SSL certificate, plus the port number 21326 for both external and internal access. Review and or input the correct values, then click Next. On the Administrator Account screen, input username, email, password, and confirm password. Review and or input the correct values, then click Next. On the Default Channel screen, the default channel value of General can be changed or left unchanged. Review and or input the desired channel name, then click Next. On the Email Settings screen, input the default, no reply, email name and address that will be used to send Infinity One messages, such as new user invitations, registration confirmations, and or password resets. Also enter the bot email address. This can be the same or different from the default. And finally, enter the business address information. Name, street address, city, province or state, postal or zip code, and country. Review and or input the correct values, then click Next. This is required to help outbound emails from the system to not be blocked by service provider spam filters. On the summary, you will review all of the input information. You can use the Back button to make changes or the Submit button to accept the input and complete the installation. The installation is complete! Now restart the service, then refresh the screen to access the login page. After you enter the username and password provided at the Administrator Account Wizard input screen, you will be presented with the home or landing page. Click on the hashtag general or channel name that you provided at the default channel wizard input screen. You are now active in the Infinity One application and can focus on adding users, inviting users, and using Infinity One to collaborate from anywhere throughout the extensive teaming and information sharing capabilities. Infinity One enables work from anywhere flexibility, securely and automatically via hot desking. 
The customer owns and manages their own space. The company isn't taxed with a monthly recurring user charge, and the users are fully utilizing the UCX functionality as if they were working at the office. Best of all, no one needs to turn on anything for Infinity One to work. Simply hot desk into your extension and it's business as usual. If you would like to learn more about Infinity One or other eMetrotel solutions, we are ready to talk. Contact us at eMetrotel.com.